After Roe v. Wade was overturned, actually even before then, when Donald Trump promised to only appoint justices who would overturn it, I warned that red states would come for IVF, and now they have. But they aren't go just going to stop in Alabama. Mark my words, if we don't act now, it will only get worse. That's why tomorrow I'm headed to the Senate floor to call on my colleagues to pass, via unanimous consent, my Access to Family Building Act, which would ensure that every American's right to become a parent via treatments like IVF is fully protected, regardless of what state they live in, guaranteeing that no hopeful parent or doctor is punished. We face a lot of tough calls as senators. This just isn't one of them. One in four married women have difficulty getting pregnant or carrying a pregnancy to term. One in four. That doesn't even include single women, single individuals, and other families also trying to conceive. So do my Republican colleagues, please, think about how many that one in four represents in your state. Women willing to go through expensive, painful treatments just for a chance to experience the most banal moments of parenthood. Just to have a newborn to swaddle, a toddler whose shoes need to be tied. And if you believe that they should have the right to be called mom without also being called a criminal, then all you have to do to prove it is help us pass this should be obvious legislation.